Hello, welcome to lesson 24, exercise one. Here we're going to practice with decrementing variables and we need to produce the following output using a loop with a decrementing variable. Uh, 140 times two is equal to whatever it calculates and we're decrementing this number here each time we're multiplying by two uh, and so on. So what we're going to do is jump down here to our code. You can see it's very small, but um, you, know, you have to know how to set it up. So here let's create an integer called a number and let's create a for loop. Now here's the magic. We're going to start the loop out where the, word, the number variable is equal to 140 because that's where we start here. Uh, we're going to run the loop as long as this number is greater than or equal to 130 after which it will stop. And we're decrementing number minus minus. This is number equals number minus one. So we're decrementing each time we fall through the loop. Now once we jump in here, this is a new scope that we've created. We talked about scopes last time. Inside of this for loop we create a new variable called answer and we're setting it equal to whatever this number is that we're counting times two. So every time we come into this loop this variable is created and assigned according to uh, two times the loop number. And then we're doing system out uh, the number here times two equals the answer. And so if we've done everything correct let's hit run and we can see we started 140, we decrement down to 130. We're multiplying by two, so here we're printing the number, here we're printing the answer. Uh, the, the reason that we choose this problem is to show you a few things. We're showing you how to deal with loops, and we're also showing you that loops can start at any number. They can go up or down. In this case, we're decrementing. We could have done number is equal to number minus one, but number minus minus is something that you're going to see much more commonly when you're trying to decrement a variable. We've done a uh, number plus plus or I plus plus anytime you're incrementing a variable. It's incredibly common. So just getting a little practice with that here. Make sure you understand that. Your code might look a little bit different, but in the end, this is basically what it's going to do to pull off the output that's required in our example problem. 